Hey guys, it's Mike with RTS again here at Infocom 2022. We're going to follow up on the video that we had last time talking about the OMS main station and the fact that it's ideally configured for your house of worship customers, your theater customers, your smaller broadcast, even your, we talked about streaming studios that need three or four individuals specifically for a podcast. This would be ideally suited. We discussed how it's configured in four different versions. We're gonna talk about the Omnio Intermediate configuration, which provides a wireless connectivity from the main station to a Dante enabled switch up to the access point, which then converts it to a 1.9 carrier that simply showers down into your space onto the individual belt pack. We'll go through the individual details later, but a Dante network is gonna be necessary in place for the system to operate functionally. If you have any questions regarding separate types of switches, let us know and we'll take you through those, but essentially it needs to be a managed switch that supports Dante audio. Okay, the bell pack itself is called the TR-1800. It's a four channel unit, individual talk and listen, four channels. Now there are four pages per channel. So ultimately, yes, it is a 16 channel unit, but realistically, most users use this in a four channel mode, okay? All the antennas are internal. It's a rechargeable battery pack, allows anywhere 12 to 15 hours realistically if the unit's on a continuous manner, all right? Headset connections, five pin female headset connections, and my favorite is this aux audio in. So let's say that you've got some time before the actual shoot. You want to plug in your iPhone so you can listen to your music. You want to answer, answer a phone. You can actually plug into the aux in. So it actually gives you the ability then to monitor external audio and still have four channels of bi-directional communications. So the unit itself, relatively simple to set up. So if you're looking at your church market, brief discussions on what their network is set up for and how if the Dante network is in place, that's tremendous. So one of the first questions you need to ask is, is there a Dante network? If there is, we can ride exactly on that Dante network. The Dante controller sees the RTS product as a Dante enabled device and is auto discoverable. So we come up in Dante controller just like any other Dante device would be. The belt pack does, the AP does not. Now, when you're talking about a channel count, because we want to make sure that we don't exceed those four separate channels, this is considered a channel on a unit. So maximum, you could have four separate channels being both analog, digital, and wireless. Maximum function functionality for what you're specifically looking for. I'll talk briefly about the AP1800 accepts PoE or PoE plus. So if in fact your switch provides PoE, it'll drive it. Or there's also a 12 volt external connection that allows you then to plug in house power. Now the unit itself only has a radius of about 150 feet. So when you're looking at how big of a space you might need one AP, you might need multiple APs. Any questions, give us a call and we'll talk you through those various questions.